Hello, welcome to National Open University of Nigeria. In this video, I will be guiding you on how to access your learning platform as a new student. Now, the first step you have to take is to impute the URL for accessing this platform that is https column double slash my learning space dot edu 2 dot net as displayed on your screen and click enter to visit the site you will be taken directly to the learning space platform of the national open university of nigeria and be required to log in you have the username section and then the password section as a new student being the first time logging into this platform your username is your matric number and your password is also your matric number however while inputting your matric number as your password ensure that the NOU is in small letters once you're done with that you click on login to access the account we'll see a similar page on your screen as well now right in the middle we have the notice board and important information make sure that you always come online to check this place and once you're done with that to access the learning platform where you get to see your course page you click on go to online courses there you will be required to impute your username and your password all over again After clicking on the go to online courses, you will be redirected to this page where you are to go to the top right corner of this page and click on login. And that will bring in the login interface where you will impute your username and the password. Now remember as earlier stated, your username is your matriculation number and is also your password. And immediately you get logged in into the platform you will be required by the administrator to change to a new password now your current password is your matric number with the NOU in small case letters you input that in the current password section and then you pick a new password that you can always remember you type it twice first one at the new password box and then again at the second new password box and once you're done you click on save changes and after that you click on continue to access your dashboard All right, so here we are at the dashboard and towards my right here, you can see customize this page. This option enables you to change the look and feel of your dashboard, rearrange them in the order of importance to you, or you could just leave it as it is. So as a new student, you will not find anything here at the recently accessed courses for all the courses that you've registered for this semester and will be facilitated online will be found here at the course overview and you could as well come over here to the my courses tab and click on it and it will drop down to show all the courses that are available for facilitation online for this semester so if you want to access the course all you just have to simply do is click on it same over here if you want to access it you can as well click on it from here so we have the private files what you can do here is you could store up uploads take for example you have an assignment and there's a probability that you may not be with your uh, system or whatever it is you use to get the assignment done you could upload it here at a private file 
and it will be visible to just you alone until you're ready to submit it at a due date. So here we have the online users where you can see all of the users that are presently online at this very moment. So let's go on to check how the course page looks like. This is your course page. Mind you, this is not how all your course pages will look like. There may be a little bit of changes. The general courses may have a different kind of arrangement to the normal courses that you have, but all the resources are similar and very easy to use. So on the left here, we have the course section. What this does is that it helps you jump right into what you want to do without having to scroll. It's very easy, just a link and then you click on it instead of scrolling down to where it is located. Participants is where you get to see all other students that are taking this very course. So I'll start on the announcement panel. Here, the announcement we have for GST 101 as stated here is that the class holds by 3 to 4 p.m. today 9th of March 2020 so presently as at the time of recording this video this announcement has already gone still but students accessed the online class using this very link over here so what is this link now this is a zoom link and this is the link that will help you to get to the online class and it's on this online class that you get to see your tutor interact with your tutor ask questions and answer questions so once you click on it if you're making use of your mobile phone to connect you may have to download the zoom application in the play store or if you're using an iphone or an ipad you get the zoom application from the app store in order to be able to access the class so all you have to do is just click on the link once you have the app downloaded and you will be connected live to the class the meet your facilitator or facilitators page is a link where you get to see who will be taking that course get to know more about the facilitator of this course then on the icebreaker session is where you get to introduce yourself and get to know other students that are also taking this course then we have the course guide then we have the chat just as it is stated here you can chat with colleagues and facilitators then here is a very important part of this page videos of previous facilitation sessions now every class is a live class However, if you miss any class due to an unforeseen circumstance, you can always access the recorded session by coming here to the videos of previous facilitation sessions. It will be a link that will take you to the video and you can as well download it if you wish. And then we have the discussion forum. The discussion forum is a forum provided to answer questions that have been given by the facilitator or post ideas that are related to the course. It is not a place to chat. You can ask your facilitator questions and you'll get your answers there. This is important for every student and especially those who miss their online classes and would have one question or the other. You come over to the discussion forum and then you post your question or answer the question that has been posted there. Here we have the short link to the chats, the forums, the resources, and the Zoom meeting. And please note, you will have to click on this link to be able to access its content. So let's start with the Meet Your Facilitator. So you say, good day everyone. Welcome to GST 101 Facilitation. My name is Dr. Felicia Oamen, and so on. This is a brief introduction of 
the facilitator for this course and then we have the icebreaker here you are to introduce yourself and some people have started introducing themselves in this course so all you have to do is to post a reply by clicking on this you click on it you reply and then you send it and we have the chats here nobody has posted a chat here but all you have to do is to click on this to enter the chat then you send the chat and those in this course including your facilitator will be able to see it so you can decide to chat with your course mates or you can chat with the facilitator So right here on the dashboard, you can click on that little icon just beside the circle that is supposed to hold your picture. If you have any modification to make on your profile, you can just come there and click on it. It's here in this profile that you'll be given the opportunity to edit your information. And then you can also impute your user picture that's your profile picture all you just have to do is drag and drop and you can as well click on it and click on upload a file and it will take you you browse and then take it from wherever you have the picture stored and you click on upload this file and your picture would be uploaded and once you're done you can come over here and click update profile and if you're done updating your profile putting up a picture updating your name you could come here and click on settings on this certain icon it will enable you to be able to either edit your profile or change your password and any other preferences that you may want to make few changes to so just in case you put in a password that is too simple or perhaps you put a password that you think you can forget you can always come here while you're logged in and then change your password to whatever you feel will be very easy for you to remember remember all the courses may not necessarily be arranged in this same way However, they have the same functions and you will be able to recognize them once you are in the course. You can always come to the page, check the announcement or scroll down to the zoom icon here and click on it. This zoom icon is present in every course when it's 10 or 5 minutes before the time for the lecture you can come in here and click on join meeting you will be able to access the online class now this is an alternative way if you do not have access to the link Please note that the new password at which you have changed the default password to on this eLearn site may not work on the My Learning Space account as these two platforms are somewhat independent of themselves for this semester. To make things easier for you, you can set the same password for the My Learning Space and also for the eLearn site. That will ensure that you have just one password for the two sites. If you have any more questions, you could always contact the LCMS support team. Or if you have any complaints as regards your account, you can always contact LCMS via mail or calling the lines that we have on the learning space. LCMS are now on the ng and the two phone numbers that you have there and very sure that you will be attended to so i wish you the very best and enjoy your learning thank you